let us continue hydrogen and its compounds it is coming under inorganic chemistry we have completed physical chemistry now we are in inorganic chemistry this in this we will see structure of hydrogen peroxide structure of hydrogen peroxide we will see now hydrogen peroxide structure is what that we will see in the hydrogen peroxide two oxygen atoms present those two oxygen atoms are present like this between two oxygen atoms single bond is present out of two hydrogens one hydrogen is on left side another hydrogen is on right side like this present how this arrangement is there means this is a, just like a, these two oxygen atoms is present in the spine of open book spine of open book these two oxygen atoms present in the spine of open book this hydrogen present in the left side of the leaf left side of the leaf this hydrogen present in the right side of the leaf that means uh, just like it is a uh, open book structure this hydrogen peroxide structure is a uh, open book structure this uh, oxygen single bond oxygen present in the spine of the book this left side hydrogen present in the left side leaf of the book right side hydrogen present in the right side leaf of the book there this is a uh, how these atoms present in the sense these atoms present in a non planar that means all the atoms not present in one plane all the four atoms not present in one plane therefore hydrogen peroxide is non planar then this hydrogen peroxide this structure is not linear this uh, this left side bond this spine bond this right side bond these three bonds are uh, not present in linear shape it is not linear therefore it is a non linear shape we can say now this hydrogen peroxide can exist in gaseous state as well as in a crystal state now how the characters bond characters will be there in gaseous state and crystal state that we will see now we will take o single bond o bond length o single bond o bond length we will take in gas and crystal then we'll see ho o bond angle we'll see in gas and crystal then we'll see dihedral angle dihedral angle we'll see in gas and crystal what is a dihedral angle dihedral angle means in this open book left side leaf and right side leaf is there angle formed between left side leaf and right side leaf is called dihedral angle then oh bond length we will see oh bond length oh bond length we will see okay these parameters we will see then how the hydrogen peroxide present in gaseous state as well as in crystal state that we will see now sir hydrogen peroxide in gaseous state exist in the form of discrete molecules discrete molecules that means isolated molecules between hydrogen peroxide van der waals force is possible that means instantaneous dipole induced instantaneous dipole that attraction is possible in the crystal state how it will be there in the crystal state hydrogen peroxide present in the form of what that we will see now we will take hydrogen peroxide now we have taken hydrogen peroxide now what happens here in the sense hydrogen bonding is possible like this hydrogen bonding in the crystal state between 
ஹைட்ரஜன் பெராக்சைடு இன்டர் மாலிகுலர் ஃபோர்ஸ் இஸ் ஹைட்ரஜன் பாண்டிங் சரி ஹவு ஒய் ஹைட்ரஜன் பாண்ட் இஸ் பாசிபிள் தட் வில் சி திஸ் ஆக்சிஜன் அண்ட் ஹைட்ரஜன் எலக்ட்ரோ நெகட்டிவிட்டி டிஃப்ரென்ஸ் இஸ் தேர் தேர் ஃபார் ஆக்சிஜன் டேக்ஸ் பார்ஷியல் நெகட்டிவ் ஹைட்ரஜன் டேக்ஸ் பார்ஷியல் பாசிட்டிவ் இயர் ஆல்சோ பார்ஷியல் நெகட்டிவ் பார்ஷியல் பாசிட்டிவ் நவ் due to this one sharing amount of electron cloud getting reduced because of partial negative and partial positive sharing amount of electron cloud is getting reduced suppose if there is no partial positive partial positive partial negative there is no partial negative charge there is no partial positive charge then we can say this bond contains two electrons in sharing because of partial negative and partial positive sharing amount of electron cloud is less than 2 sharing amount of electron cloud is less than 2 we can say so sharing amount of electron cloud is less therefore how the bond length will be there sharing amount of electron cloud is less therefore how the how this bond length will be there in crystal state and gaseous state in gaseous state hydrogen bond is not there so in gaseous state here sharing amount of electron cloud how it will be there in the crystal state here sharing amount of electron cloud how it will be there that if you know then we can say the bond length sir in crystal state hydrogen bond is there therefore sharing amount of electron cloud is less in gaseous state no hydrogen bond therefore no partial negative no partial positive therefore here what will be that sharing amount of electron cloud will be high so since sharing amount of electron cloud is high attraction will be more therefore bond length will be less in crystal state hydrogen bonding is there therefore here sharing amount of electron cloud is less density of electron cloud is less therefore bond length will be more sir so we got an idea now in the gaseous space the oh bond length is less in the gaseous space oh bond length is less in the crystal phase the oh bond length is high in the crystal phase oh bond length is high we can say sir so crystal phase and gaseous space oh bond length we said next step. in the crystal crystal hydrogen bond is there because of hydrogen bonding hydrogen peroxide molecules are closer in the gaseous phase molecules are discrete so hydrogen peroxide molecules are far away therefore here hydrogen bonding is there between two molecules hydrogen bonding is there here between two molecules hydrogen bonding is not there therefore in the crystal phase between two molecules hydrogen bonding is there between two molecules attraction is more so molecules will be closer here molecules will be far away in gas molecules will be far away in the gas molecules will be far away therefore in the crystal these two leaves left side leaf right side leaf will be closer in the gas left side leaf and right side leaf will be somewhat far away therefore angle between these two leaves angle between left side leaf and right side leaf is called diahedral angle how the diahedral angle will be there in crystal and gas in crystal phase it will be less why because hydrogen bond is there molecules will be closer therefore left side leaf and right side leaf will be closer therefore in crystal phase diahedral angle is less we can say diahedral angle is less in crystal phase in gaseous phase the diahedral angle is more in crystal phase in gaseous phase the diahedral angle is more in crystal phase the diahedral angle is less
சரி நெக்ஸ்ட் HOO bond angle that we will see HOO bond angle we have to see how that bond angle will be there this bond angle HOO bond angle this bond angle we have to see in the crystal phase hydrogen bonding is there therefore this electron cloud density is less therefore this bond pair this bond pair repulsion is less here due to hydrogen bonding here electron cloud density is less therefore this bond pair this bond pair repulsion is less therefore this oh bond is somewhat closer to this oo bond but in gaseous phase no hydrogen bonding no hydrogen bond therefore here electron cloud density is high sharing electron cloud is more therefore bond pair bond pair repulsion is more due to more repulsion this oh bond is somewhat far away from oo bond okay so in the crystal phase hydrogen bonding is there therefore this oh here sharing electron cloud density is low this lone pair density is low here this sorry bond pair density is low here so this bond pair bond pair repulsion is low so that this oh bond is somewhat closer to oo bond therefore this bond angle this bond angle is less in crystal phase bond angle is no sorry this here so what is the value given that we will see in the crystal phase the experimental value is how much in the sense 101.9 degree hoo bond angle gaseous phase 94 degree 48 minutes like this is that so it is a not as per our expectation bond angle is not as per our expectation sir here crystal phase the bond angle is high that means this bond angle is high this bond angle is high in the sense what may be the reason sir okay let it be now we will see we have to discuss this one it is not as per our expectation now we will see oo bond length we will see here this oxygen carries partial positive this hydrogen carries partial negative here also oxygen carries partial positive hydrogen carries partial no oxygen carries partial negative hydrogen carries partial positive isn't it sir so oxygen carries partial negative hydrogen carries partial positive okay we have given partial charges here you see this is more pronounced in crystal state therefore partial negative partial negative repulsion is possible due to repulsion these two atoms go far away therefore the bond length will be high in crystal phase in gaseous phase no hydrogen bonding no hydrogen bonding means magnitude of this partial positive charge is less so magnitude of partial negative charge is less so repulsion between them is less so bond length will be less this is a our expectation what uh, experimental result says that we will see experimental result says oo bond length in gaseous phase is 1.48 angstrom in crystal phase 0.985 angstrom so it is also against our expectation sir now now we will take hydrogen peroxide alone we will take 
hydrogen peroxide we have taken because of electronegativity difference here partial negative here partial positive here also partial positive partial negative now we will see it is going for hydrogen bond it is going for hydrogen bonding due to hydrogen bonding attraction is taking place therefore this magnitude decreases this magnitude decreases okay therefore this magnitude also decreases why it is also going for hydrogen bonding this side sir so magnitude is less so here also magnitude is less when when there is hydrogen bonding due to hydrogen bonding magnitude is less because of attraction here therefore repulsion between them is less therefore repulsion between them is less in the sense the bond length will be less in crystal phase okay now we will see in the crystal phase the bond length is less again we will see this point now see oxygen hydrogen electronegativity difference is there because of electronegativity difference here partial negative charge here partial positive charge because of hydrogen bonding magnitude of a positive charge getting reduced magnitude of negative charge getting reduced that means what here partial positive hydrogen will be there this partial negative charge some moment attracting here some moment only repelling here okay so due to attraction this side here repulsion is less due to less repulsion between them bond length is less in crystal phase in crystal phase this bond length is less what about in gaseous phase it is not going for hydrogen bonding therefore it is having only repulsion with this therefore due to repulsion bond length is high therefore bond length is high here in gaseous space now we will see hoo bond angle we'll see now this oo bond length is high in gaseous space this oo bond length is high in gaseous space bond length is high means density of electron cloud is less density of electron cloud is less means repulsion is less repulsion is repulsion between bond pairs is less therefore this oh bond come closer to oo bond therefore this bond angle this bond angle is less in gaseous space so oo this this bond angle is less in gaseous space why because this oo bond length is high in gaseous space so density of bond pair is less therefore repulsion between these two bond pairs is less therefore this oh bond is coming closer to oo bond so this bond angle this bond angle is uh, less in gaseous space opposite is crystal okay this is about a crystal phase gaseous phase difference in hydrogen peroxide next we will see uses of hydrogen peroxide we will see next we are going for uses of hydrogen peroxide hydrogen peroxide is used as a air bleach hydrogen peroxide is used as air bleach then hydrogen peroxide is used as mild disinfectant mild disinfectant it is uh, sold in market uh, under commercial name parhydrol parhydrol then it is used as germicide next uh, it is hydrogen peroxide is used to for manufacturing sodium perborate sodium perborate then it is used to for manufacturing sodium percarbonate sodium percarbonate these two are for what sake in the sense high quality detergents to prepare high quality detergents these two are required then used in the synthesis of hydroquinone used in the synthesis of hydroquinone then 
then tartaric acid then tartaric acid certain food products then for manufacturing medical items pharmaceuticals which medicine in the sense so and so medicine to prepare this hydrogen peroxide is used then hydrogen peroxide is used as bleaching agent for textiles paper pulps paper pulps leather oils fats etc then it is used in environmental chemistry for what sake in the sense for oxidizing cyanides then it is used for oxidizing cyanides oxidizing cyanides then in the sewage waste for a sewage waste will be there in that sewage waste will be taken for treatment plant there for aerobic conditions for aerobic conditions it is used then it is restoring color of oil paintings it is restoring color of oil paintings next it is used in the case of cloth rate hydrates cloth rate hydrates cloth rate hydrates what is cloth rate cloth rate compound in the sense cloth rate in the sense one cyclic compound will be there inside the cyclic compound some other molecule will go and occupy that is called cloth rate compounds so example for that is a methane hydrate methane hydrate this formula is what in the sense ch4 dot 20 h2 that means the methane is inside that 20 water molecules methane one molecule one methane molecule is there inside of 20 water molecule this is called cloth rate hydrate for cloth rate hydrates preparation hydrogen peroxide is used so hydrogen peroxide uses is so and so 